What's up everybody, Jeff here from Outseta. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can use a native Webflow form to subscribe people to an email list in Outseta. And the best part of this is it's not just great for things like newsletter signup forms, but you can also use this process to trigger email automations. So let's get started. I'm in Outseta here, and the first thing I've done is I've come to email and lists, and I've created an email list. That is the first step. In this case, my email list is just called the monthly newsletter. And you can see right now, uh, James is already subscribed to this list. Next, I'm gonna jump into Webflow and I need to open up the Outseta Webflow app. I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna choose Outseta and I'm gonna launch the app. And now you see I have access to all these different tools from Outseta directly in the designer. I'm gonna select the actual form on the page and I'm gonna click subscribe to email list. I have the option now I can actually insert an outset of form, but in this case, I wanna use a Webflow form. So I'm gonna click on the map to Webflow form option. I'm gonna choose my email list from Outseta, which is the monthly newsletter. And I'm gonna choose the Webflow form on the page that I wanna work with, which is this email list form. If I scroll down now, you do see a message here that says the Webflow form must be published. In order for the Webflow or the outset of Webflow app to pick up on the form, you do need to publish the page first. So if you're not seeing uh, the form that you wanna map to, that's the problem. Just go ahead and publish your page first. Uh, but now I scroll down and I can map the fields on my Webflow form uh, to fields in Outseta. So my Webflow form has three fields, an email, first name, and last name fields. And I'm just gonna map those two corresponding fields from Outseta. So now I've mapped that successfully. I'm gonna click add to element and that's it. I've integrated a native Webflow form with an Outseta email list. This gives you full control over the form design, which is really, really nice. And now I'm just gonna publish my site. While the site publishes, uh, I'm gonna jump over to this version of the site, which is live. Just reload the page and we're gonna give this a try. So let's say Jeff at outsetta.com. All right, now I'm gonna to subscribe to an email list get my confirmation message that I've been subscribed. This comes directly from Webflow, so you continue to have uh, the ability to edit that message just as you normally would. And now I can jump into Outseta. I'm gonna refresh the page, and you can see I've been subscribed to an email list. That's it. The most exciting part about this, yes, this is great for things like newsletter forms, but you can also use this to trigger email automations. So for example, if I came to email and drip campaigns within Outseta, I could click uh, add a drip campaign and I'm going to call this my newsletter automation. I click create a drip and when I'm setting up an automation in Outseta, one of the start conditions can be a person subscribes to a mailing list and now I can find my monthly newsletter list. So by doing this, I've created an email automation where when someone fills out that form in Webflow, it adds them to an email list in Outseta and then triggers an automation from there. That's it. I do want to go over uh, one other thing that might be important if you're struggling through this process, it's likely because of reCAPTCHA. We recommend that you have reCAPTCHA on any form, whether it's a Webflow form or an Outseta form. So within Outseta, if you come down here to settings and integrations, you can add reCAPTCHA keys to all of your forms uh, within Outseta. If you have set up reCAPTCHA in Outseta, you also need to add reCAPTCHA to your form in Webflow. Um, so you would in that case, um, just pull reCAPTCHA into your actual form in Webflow. And in Webflow, if you have not set up reCAPTCHA yet, you can do so by coming to site settings, you come to the form section, and you'll just input the exact same reCAPTCHA keys that you put uh, into Outseta, also into Webflow. That's a common uh, issue here if things aren't working properly. But that's it. 
you can see it's really, really easy now to integrate those native Webflow forms with Outseta email lists. If you have any questions, just let us know at support at Thanks so much.